Hi there, Marius here with the Resuscitation Coach. On this channel we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. In today's video we'll continue with our emergency medication series. We'll be reviewing atropine, so let's jump straight in. Here we go. In this session, we'll be discussing atropine's mechanism of action, its indications, and dosages for both adult and pediatrics, and we'll be reviewing its side effects and precautions. Atropine increases vagolytic action, it increases the patient's heart rate, increases sinus node discharge, and increases the AV node conduction. Atropine is the first drug in adults for symptomatic sinus bradycardi with or without ACS. It may be beneficial in the presence of AV nodal blocks, but it will not be effective for your second degree blocks type 2 or your third degree blocks or a block in a non-nodal tissue. Routine usage of atropine in asystole and PA is unlikely to have a therapeutic benefit and it's not part of the AHA guidelines anymore. For organophosphate poisoning, an extremely large dose may be needed. The ACLS dosage for atropine is 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes as needed. Kindly note that the dose of atropine has been increased from 0.5 mg to 1 mg in the 2020 AHA guidelines. Do not exceed 0.04 mg per kilogram or a total dose of 3 mg. For organophosphate poisoning, a dose of 2 to 4 mg or higher will be required. The atropine usage in pediatrics, your IV dose is 0.02 mg per kilogram for a maximum single dose of 0.5 mg. We may repeat this dose once in 3 to 5 minutes. The maximum total dose for a child is 1 mg and for an adolescent is 3 mg. Your ET dose is 0.04 to 0.06 mg per kilogram. As mentioned earlier, larger doses may be needed for organophosphate poisoning. If the child is below 12 years, a dose of 0.05 mg per kilogram IV or IO can be used initially, then repeated and then doubled the dose every five minutes until the symptoms reverse. If the patient is above 12 years, you can start off with 1 mg IVIO and then repeat and double the dose every five minutes until the symptoms reverse. Atropine can also be used for rapid sequence intubation. The IV dose is 0.01 to 0.02 milligrams per kilogram and a maximum dose of 0.5 milligrams. The IM dose for rapid sequence intubation is 0.02 milligrams per kilogram. So what is the side effects of atropine? Due to the increase in myocardial oxygen demand, it should be used with caution in the presence of myocardial ischemia and hypoxia. It's also unlikely to be effective for hypothermic bradycardia. It may not be effective for infranodal second degree block type 2 and new third degree block with white QRS complexes. In these patients it may cause a polydaxal slowing of the heart rate. So be prepared to start with pacing or give a catechlomine. If you benefited from this video, kindly like, 
subscribe and smash that notification bell and please don't forget to leave a comment. We'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.